Inflicamin Nation has lasted 8,000 years and we lived in harmony with the land. And we, we managed the land and resources for our future generations. First contact was 1808. And by now, each and every one of you know, we're collectively facing a global existential crisis. It's not innovative to go back to sustainable ways of living. This story about resilient housing is tied to the fires, which has a bit of sensationalism around it. And what we really want to do today is celebrate. We want to celebrate the resiliency of the community beyond this specific project. Having homes that are going to be safe from the rivers, winds, fires, that's something that we're going to have to think about to be able to protect our people because we can't rely on other sources because we don't know what is what's going to come next year, five years, ten years, twenty years down the line. But being open to what is all available that we can utilize to ensure that we're going to be here for the next seven generations. Something is changing and it's evident on the very land we live in. So if we don't prepare for the environment of tomorrow today, we're going to suffer. What has happened to this community over a short period of time is extraordinary. <coughs> Not only were there the fires, there were also heavy rains, mudslides and flooding uh, in the fall, in November. And then over Christmas, there was deep cold temperatures that were the first um, recorded to that degree of, 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 you know, sort of minus 26 to minus 30 ever in the community, and snow that um, elders said that they hadn't seen since uh, 1965. If you have a fireproof, windproof, coldproof, soundproof material, you can have an ability to shelter in place. They could stay in place during the coldest months or the hottest months. Um, with an energy source that would provide that heating or cooling when they need it or that electricity. Uh, so all things that, that we think about when we think about the concept of resiliency and how technology can, can support some of those elements. If you are aware of your options, then you as individuals can change your future. Our future is not predetermined. Kanaka Bar, this community said, if we can build a resilient community, you can scale it up and you can replicate it. We wanted to create an event that was celebratory, that brought together industry and interested people and government officials and regional representation and community members all together, working together to trying to resolve these issues and build back um, in a really robust way in the region. 137 people came here today because they wanted to learn. They wanted to know what their alternatives and options were to straw and stick homes. Their demonstration homes showcasing affordability, resiliency, energy efficiency, and most importantly, and potentially durability. Kanakabur Indian Band does not want to build houses to flip for profit. We want to build houses so that our grandchildren have a safe place to live in. On June 30th, approximately at 4.38 p.m., the sun set on Lytton. But on July 1st, the sun rose. Because we have an opportunity to do something amazing together. What I really like about this is it's bringing us all together again. I see that um, this is what our community needs, is that strength and that resilience. This is how we're going to save our people. This is all of us. This is all of you. Be proud of what we are doing today. We are making history and redeveloping our community. This is where we first came from. And this is where we shall return. This is home. It is the actions of a few that is destroying the world for the many. And it is the act of a few that will save the world for the many. All righty, let's try our luck here then. Ready? One, two, three. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>
compaction really works. <laughs> Darn you extreme for exceeding expectations. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Let's make our way back up to the hall. Because there's going to be coffee. <laughs> there's coffee up there. <laughs> Thank you so much.